Hello, everyone. I know it's been, I would say, a hot minute, but um, it's been a long time. A long, long time. And um, a lot has happened. Life has changed. And um, yeah, I'll fill you in. So, um, you know, I don't even know where I left off, but I know that I'd gone through a time last January of um, doing a spending fast and not doing any grocery shopping and just really trying to use up things we had on hand. And that kind of morphed into, instead of one month, it became two and then three and then four and I was just I was buying very little and um, then things really changed and last spring uh, my husband and I were talking and if you're new here hi my name is Alyssa I am the mom to two girls and wife to one husband and lived in the Midwest and I did grocery hauls and um, just showed people how I shop because I shop differently but last spring my husband and I were praying and um, just felt that things were changing and so long story long long story short very short um, we've moved to Italy so um, I thought it's, I've missed doing grocery hauls. Um, my life is so different now. Uh, for the, we've been here since the beginning of October. And this is the end of December. So, um, three months. And when we first got here, um, I was buying groceries every day. Just what we needed daily. Because we weren't sure where we were going to be. And we're just living in a little... Um, two bedroom Airbnb for a couple of weeks and we've we've changed we've moved a couple times and um, so we went through Christmas and I was able to find almost all the Christmas things things to make all the Christmas things I should say and um, I just been like you know I think it's time and my husband really encouraged me the other day to he said if you like it do it Pick it up again. So, right now I'm on my way to the grocery store. Um, we were still working on paperwork and everything. So, um, we do not have a car right now. So, I'm walking to the grocery store. And uh, it's just five minutes around the corner from our apartment. So, very convenient. And this is one of them I go to. There's about... Um, Two, three I go to regularly, um, or semi-regularly, but this is the one that I get the majority of stuff at because it's just easy. Otherwise, you have to carry everything out because there's no car. So, um, I don't know how much I'll video in there, but um, I will flip you around so you can see the front of it. Here it is. It looks very small, but you get inside and it just keeps going and going and going. So we'll see what we get. All right, everybody, I am back. I'm home. I did not video in the store because it was just too crazy. This is Saturday before New Year's Eve, tomorrow, Sunday. So it was a madhouse. So this is my haul. Quite differently, different than the hauls you're used to. But this was 97 euro. So that translates to about $110. Um, there were some sales, so I did stock up on some things. This is um, a kilo of ground beef. And we'll say this, when I cook my ground beef or even ground pork here, I have to add oil to it. It is so lean. So it's good quality meat. Um, it is, if I come in here, it's 
$13.90 a kilo. It was on sale. It's usually $15.90 a kilo, which is a kilo is about 2.2 pounds. So I got a kilo of ground beef. And then my oldest wanted wings for New Year's. So I got a kilo, not quite a kilo, but almost a kilo of wings. And those are $5.90. So six. Six sixty a pound for wings, and then I got some chicken thighs, and they are four ninety nine. And again, these are euro. It's about a dollar ten, dollar twelve to the euro, and then some chicken breast. And one thing I love about buying chicken breast here is I can cut it however I want it, so I don't have to cut it anymore. Although these are kind of big cubes, so I probably will cut them down a little bit. But um, if I want it sliced nice and thin, they do that, or they cube it, or they grind it, whatever I want, they just do it. It's wonderful. And then I picked up, these were on sale, some egg noodles. And these are a spinach egg noodle, and then a regular egg noodle. It's a mix in there um, for some turkey noodle soup. And I grabbed, I usually get jasmine rice, and they've had it all along, the smaller box, but they've had it. They did not have it today. So I just got some basmati rice, and this was on sale too. I think it was two twenty, and this is one kilo, so about a dollar ten a pound, or two maybe it was two thirty nine a pound, or two thirty nine a kilo. I just grabbed some sugar because we're running low on it, and this is just a little one kilo, so two point two pounds bag of sugar, it's the largest I can find, and uh, flour, and they have like I don't know five or ten different kinds of flour. So I mixed this, this is a type zero zero, it's a very fine flour and it's good for cakes and stuff. So I mixed this with a type zero for more of an all purpose flour. Um, we buy bread, fresh bread, it's over here. I'll show you in a minute, uh, but we go through lots of jam. So I picked up some more jam. We found this brand Hero, it's our favorite. So we have peach jam and then I got a red fruit jam um which are both great i try to keep two different flavors um in the house at the same time because different people like different things and we go through them quite quickly so we get to try lots of different flavors and then i grab this this is just a yogurt dressing it looks like it has some herbs in it but i'm going to use this to make my blue cheese dressing for the wings i bought some blue cheese and then over here i have my hot sauce all they had was Tabasco, so I'm going to mix that with some butter to make my buffalo sauce and then make some blue cheese dressing. And then they had yogurt, and it was on sale. This is usually, I think, $3.79. It was on sale for $2.49 today, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Uh, this is a favorite butter that I found. I usually just buy the Pam, the store brand, because it's the cheapest, and we go through butter like water. Um, but this was on sale and it was actually cheaper than the Pam Brown brand. So I went ahead and bought four. And this is um, like two sticks, a little over two sticks of butter in each one of these. So it's, it's not a ton, maybe two pounds, a little over two pounds. I have not seen this one before, Philadelphia Jalapeno Cream Cheese. And we are doing... Um, doing a taco dip for New Year's too. So I thought that would be perfect for that. And then just cream cheese to use for different dips. I bought some pizza tella cheese. It's uh, basically mozzarella. So I grabbed that for different uh, spinach artichoke um, pizza. It's so good. Maybe I will show it. I made one for Christmas and it was gone so quick, just the four of us, so quick. So I'm gonna make another one for New Year's. But I'll use that. And then I grabbed, this was on sale too. It's some um, cooking cream and I use it for soups. Um, I grabbed it, these, <laughs> I say a dozen eggs, it's not a dozen eggs, it's 10 eggs. And they are like 2.79, I think. So I grabbed a dozen eggs. And then I bought two pizza crusts. I'm going to do my buffalo chicken dip in a pizza crust and see how that comes out with the spinach artichoke maybe. Oh, I'll see. I'm still deciding. And then I'm doing a taco pizza with the taco dip. 
and then um, I bought a pie crust. And then here is the bread, and I'm going to open it and show you because we'll open it for lunch anyways. Fresh baked bread every day, and this loaf was two dollars or two euro and sixteen cents, and it's a whole wheat, and it's really, they sell bread by the kilo. So there it is, delicious. And then I bought some. Um, these are these are kind of softer little rolls. So those we are having grilled cheese and tomato soup for New Year's Eve. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use these or if I'm gonna have to go back and buy tomatoes. I'm gonna buy some different bread for grilled cheese. I don't have to decide yet. Then I picked up I you can get black beans here dried, but I haven't been ambitious enough to cook uh, dried beans yet, so I just buy canned beans and the, it's actually glass jars i i'm having such a hard time they recycle everything but i want find myself wanting to keep the glass jars but i have to let them go um anyways these are like pinto beans so they, they're great for mexican food so i'll make uh, some refried beans out of these for the taco pizza and then i just grabbed some broccoli and i have some carrots and celery just to have some veggies and dip and then a head of lettuce for the taco and for the pizza the taco so i'll flip you back around so that is my first grocery haul for you guys in italy and uh, like i said it was about uh, 97 euro about 110 dollars and i will try to keep them coming um this is my little kitchen that i cook in and it works. So um, hopefully we'll keep videos coming and let me know if you guys like these and hit the subscribe and like button and I'll keep them coming. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.